episode 37 of the Two Mops Podcast. What a hectic fucking couple of days. Man. Where do we start, Con? <laughs> okay, I'm and just we, gonna... We have special guest Kevin. How's it going? I'm gonna start by saying that fight was completely your fault, Jason. <laughs> completely your fault. It was a bit of an overreaction. Yeah, complete overreaction. Got it. Why, why would you... Why would you smash someone's phone with a sledgehammer because they tried to charge it? It was all the built-up anger and resentment towards him. So you had a grudge against him. I know you had a grudge against him for like a year because he owes you like 20 bucks. Yeah. Still, can't. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. You should have just beat him up because you wanted to. You shouldn't have fucking smashed his phone first. I was also upset because last night when we did episode 36... He destroyed the whole backyard, and it's like my backyard too because I live here. Yeah. And destroyed your microphone. He broke the solar panel for the fountain. Fuck. This dude was like on four Zans, drinks, weed. Fake Zans, fake Zans. <laughs> yeah, the Zan bars. Yeah. Fucking calmness. Yeah. Dude. And I told him. Not- to not come into my room because I fucking don't like him. But like you got a lock on the door. If you don't want people in your room, you should just lock the door. If I want to go in my room, grab something quickly. Unlock the door. You've you've got to realize it was a bit of an overreaction. Yeah, man. Could have done so much more before. Like that. that was not justified. The way I see it is is trespassing. He's not because I invited him over. And not to my room. You didn't invite him to my room. Not to your room, but he slept here overnight, you know? And, like, where's another charger? There's no other chargers. Bro, you gotta admit that you- that was not justified, man. Otherwise, you're actually mental. Remember, you gotta not think emotionally, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was very, no, very no, no, no. emotional. Yeah, 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 but I'm talking about now, though, now, but now. You, you, rea- you reacted out of emotion, yeah, but right now you've got to realise, out of emotion, you have to think, okay, yeah, what he did was not right. Yeah, what you did was not right. Not, none of it was right. So, like... Okay. Yeah, you just got to, like... Just okay. Gotta, you, you have to realise... It was like, a, an yeah. overreaction that's, to break his phone. Yeah, see, that's good. That's good that you... Fuck yes! It's good that you Progress. admit that. Bro. Yeah, it's good that you admit that, bro. Like, it's, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Because I don't want my mom to kick you out, man. Yeah, I think... Wait, let's go through the story first. So, I just smash his phone with a sledgehammer. No, no, so, so, you were sleeping. He comes into your room to charge his phone while you were sleeping. Is that it? No, no, no. We were all awake. Oh, so you are awake. Okay, so you just walked into your room. Wait, you were outside, you were in the room. I was outside or something, yeah. And you just saw him walk into your room. Well, he just, like, left his belongings here twice, like, even though I'm, like, don't come to my room, I don't like you. Did he actually say that? Yeah, at some point, yeah. Okay. But you gotta remember, this guy was on so many Zans, he kept forgetting who we were. Oh. Like, all night, he's like, who are you guys? The thing is, wait, <laughs> have I met you before? Yeah. Two points about that, Aiden, <laughs> two points about that. Today, he was not on Zans, and also... Yesterday, like he'd already done that in the past, take Zans and fuck with your house. Yeah. So it's kind of my bad because yeah. after last time he came here, I was like, bro, I don't want to ever invite him over again. Like that was too fucked up. But then last night I just forgot about it and somehow again. I invited him over. But like with the Zans, is there like a calm down and shit like that? Uh, if you're like drinking and shit like I that. Think no, so. you no, just, no, calm down. It's no. just a better sleep, eh? They got a really long half-life, so after like 12 hours, you're like half as high, and then another 12 hours, you're like a quarter as high. I was gonna say like, it could, I know, I, 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 I could have seen it as being like, both of them acting no, cause cause it's not like when you take caps. Like when you take caps the next day, <laughs> yeah, you're like that's depressed saying, yeah, yeah. and mad. Like, nah, Zans, there's no calm down. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, They're both just fucked up in the head, eh? Yeah, no, he's just, <laughs> just, a, just a fuck fucking drama. But yeah, he what last night he also fucking crushed the barrier thing for your mum's garden. Yeah, and like broke your bong. Guy had it coming, but 
Damn, bro. Oh. So he broke your bong as well. Yeah, he smashed my bong. Shh. <laughs> And thank God. I take it all back. Some people. I take it all. <laughs> you fucking did the right thing, mate. You did the fucking right thing. Cheers, bro. Like, some people would beat someone up just for smashing their bong, hey? Yeah, but. Yeah. But, I, but I'm not like that. Not, yeah. even, not even just smash, but like the fact that he, like, he did all that shit and he, like, he was still allowed to stay here the night. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. he just like has the audacity. And like we filmed yeah. a podcast out there with the fire last night. Mm. And then thank the fucking lord I brought the computer and all the gear back inside. Oh, cause he because he ended up fucking collapsing right where the computer was. He was stumbling around where the computer oh, was. Yeah. was <sighs> it's an iMac. It's a MacBook, the new one. 20. Pro 20, whatever. Anyway, so this morning, yeah, so he. I smash his phone, and then he just whacks me in the back with a broom, full force, and then puts me in a headlock, for some reason, <laughs> and then I just tackle him, and then just start pounding his head with elbows, and that's when your mom came, it's that's why she's shocked. Yeah, it's a too. <laughs> she didn't see all of what Tim campies. was doing. You can feel a stick, in like... Yeah, that's like one of those party cones, yeah. bro. <laughs> Literally, like, you can fit, like, if it's not spun, you can fit a whole stick, like, in two cones. Fuck. I smoke a stick in four cones with a spoon. I think once with Regan, like, we tried to smoke a stick in one cone. Yeah, I've done Like, that in the party cone. Yeah, I've done that before. So Holy, yeah. like a whole G. A whole G yeah. at once. I've, I've done a lot. I've done a lot. It I've done, just I've, fucks you I've up. done, like, a whole grand, a whole grand wheel and, like, <laughs> spin as well. Fucks you up. Oh, man. I fucking vomited so bad. <laughs> You vomited off though? Yeah, but straight oh. after. I fucking From the spin, bro? I nearly vomited in the bong. I was like... Just like <laughs> in oh. the bong? It was like almost in the bong. I was like, as soon as I pull my mouth out, like, vomit was coming. Oh. Was fucked. Fucked up. Once, I was doing DMT with like five people at my house. Mm. And this one guy, he's like, yeah, every time I do DMT, I throw up. <laughs> so he's like, give me something to throw up into. And I'm like, yeah, 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 right. And I then- give him like a bag of chips. <laughs> fucking, Shoot. we all do DMT and this can't, like, as soon as he does it. Like the next 10 minutes Just throwing up In this bag of chips man that's What sad, the fuck bro. Fucking hell Alright Fuck me That would fuck up your shit Yeah that's what I'm thinking Like that you'd like, You wouldn't be you tripping Like <laughs> You're just doing your trip You're just vomiting Like uh, right, Cause like, When you do DMT You don't even realise You're on earth yeah, You're just gone So like how yeah. do you Like control vo- <laughs> He didn't spill any Like he got it all in the bag <laughs> That's true, bro. It's got two consciousnesses. Two consciousnesses. One's just like he just focused on the bag, just vomiting. And the other one's just enjoying <laughs> life. Fucking space, like flying around. Man, you done DMT yet? I did it once. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, when I was eighteen. Was it good? Yeah, it was amazing. I was like, I was, I was a bit scared about it at first. Yeah, yeah. Fucking. We Everyone at, is, man. Yeah, we were at my mate's house, and he didn't even tell me. Oh, he just... Oh, really? Yeah, he just... Oh, he, in a cone or in a yeah, joint? Yeah, cone. He oh. just sprinkled it on the joint, and on the cone and shit, and then put more weed on top of it and shit. Oh, oh. bro. And I was like... And I had it... And I was like... Ooh. Instantly, I just felt like this heat. It's just like this... Yeah, it's warm. Yeah, 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 I was just like... And, I, and instantly, I just thought, this can't pack to... Like, because all we used to do as a joke sometimes, we just pack the cone with tobacco, and then just put, like, weed on top, just to make it look like it's a cone of weed. <laughs> So you just get like this massive tobacco high, which is some people that weren't paying attention. And fucking, I thought that hit, that's what he did to me instantly because I'd get like really hot and shit. But then you start seeing the dragon. Like, and then I was like, I was like, I was like, oh. and then all of a sudden I just felt these fucking like, as if I just got stabbed like a million times everywhere, just like yeah, instantly. You, yeah, you literally think you die. Hey? Yeah, I was just like, oh. and I just fucking, oh. Oh. bro. The next thing I knew, I was just like. Like, my soul left my body. Yeah. And I was, like, going... I went through the roof, went, just kept going up, 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 just went out into space. Wow. I feel like I was just, like, on this roller coaster, just seeing fucking, like, animals and, like, beings <laughs> and shit. Oh, man. And, like, it was fucking crazy, man, yeah. You know? Yeah. Awesome. Were you crazy. scared the whole time, or would you I had enjoy no, it? I had no clue what was going on. Like, I was just... I didn't realise what I was seeing until, like... Until after the trip, I was just, like... Whoa! I was like, what the fuck? As soon as I came that's back, good. that's actually good yeah. though. I was like, that, it was just like, it was just an experience. Yeah, that's it was good. kind of like a dream, almost. Because if you don't know you're about to do it, like yeah. you're just in it. Yeah. There's no stress. Like you, yeah. yeah, bro. The it's, first... kind of, it's kind of just like watching a movie and just going through the movie, and then just like <laughs> once you finish the movie, you're just like, holy fuck! What, what the fuck? What did I just watch? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like that. It was just like that, and then I was just like this insane yeah. high. I was just like, Dude. what the fuck? I looked at him. I was like. 
what is this? And he's just like, bro, I just like gave some DMT. And I was just like, what? Fuck. Yeah, like this. when you're watching porn and then you ejaculate and then you're like, fuck, what have I done? <laughs> I think no, it's, that's, that's literally, literally the, the exact opposite. opposite. That's the opposite. That's the exact, it's the exact opposite. opposite. That's called personal syndrome. Because <laughs> it's like it's not like a guilty. What have I just done? It's like yeah, it's like, a good it's like one. an in awe. It's like yeah. Yeah, just unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, man. Like I remember, like instantly, like after I was just like talking about like. Are you I, sure? I, I was trying to remember everything what that was off? happening. <laughs> I was just trying to remember everything that was happening and like just trying to capture everything just like as I came back I was just like what the fuck was that what was this what was that like what the hell and I was just, and the more I try to like think about it and try to remember the more it just slipped away and I was like oh yeah yeah it's fuck it's fuck weird. it's so weird it's so weird dude that happens to me I'm trying to write music sometimes <laughs> it's so annoying like I think of this song and I get it so fucking detailed in my head and as soon as I pick up my guitar and I'm like recording it, yeah. like the more I try to remember it, the more it just like disappears. Yeah. And it's like, fuck, bro. No, but it, it'd be mad. Like if the first time you did DMT, you didn't know you were going to do it. Mm. Cause if you know yeah. you're going to do it, there's like this fear. Mm. And then like, while you're tripping, you're scared the whole time. You're like, fuck, like have I died? Uh, I, reckon, I reckon if you did acid like that without knowing, that'd be terrifying. Oh man! <laughs> Apparently that's how the Beatles did it the first time. Real? Yeah, someone just snuck it in their food. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you would like people would react to that. Like, yeah. when was, like when I was the first time I did acid. Honestly, it was the best experience of my life. Same. Till I can first say, time till, was the best. Till I can say, it was probably the most happiest, most best moment of my life. Probably one of the top ten. Yeah. Like I was literally just in the car. With my friend, my two mates, like yeah. him and his brother, yeah, and we were in the middle of a, like a like a like a cornfield. I'm pretty sure but it was like empty at the time, and we're just like out on the farms. A cornfield. Yeah. They have that shit in Australia. Well, like fuck, it was like a fucking field of fucking something, but it was yeah. like it was just cut down. I'm saying cornfield. It was like a farming field. But yeah. Fucking. Fuck. It was like because I used the to live. The best trip. I used to running through the yeah. fucking field. No, I was like I was like in Queensland, bro. Like because I used to live in a country town, so we like drove out to the farms and shit, and he like. They own like a massive section of like all the farms and stuff there. They're like these rich guys, and they invited me to trip with them for the first time. Like I, w- I had never done it before. Yeah. And his brother had never done it before, but Ben, like the older brother, he'd done it a couple of times and he wanted to do it with us. So he took us out there and we're just in the car. We took it, and we just started smoking cones, smoking cones. And then before yeah. we knew, it, we just started laughing. We literally had a oh, laughing bro, fit. The laughing fit when we first came on, <laughs> bro. It's we, like contagious. It's so contagious. You literally so, can't stop. And like, it's like it lasts like a yeah, whole hour, yeah. bro. <laughs> and it's like and it's like you feel like you're laughing about something that you all know what it is, and you're like all in on it, but you have no clue what you're laughing yeah. about, like. But it's like it's and then so, someone says, "Why are we laughing?" and that makes everyone laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and. Bro, I shit you not, we, we tripped for 12 hours and we did not leave that car. We were in that car oh, all night. Really? All, yeah. We did not leave that car. And we had the best night of my life. That's amazing. Like, at the yeah. time, I, it was like unbelievable what was happening. Because you're smoking cones with it as well. Yeah, we're just non stop yeah. smoking. We had, like, we had like a fucking ounce and we're just non stop just cone after cone after cone. No, my first time we did it in the city at Vivid. Fuck. Oh, yeah. holy fuck. It was amazing. Like, I don't know how people can do that. Neon lights everywhere. It was just amazing. And we rented those fucking, like, bicycles. <laughs> I remember that. Those rent bicycles. Yeah. And we're just riding around on those. We got split up somehow, so they're, like, two groups. And, like, we ended up meeting up at Milson's Point at, like, 3 a.m. in the fucking morning. Dude, it, what's it like, like, losing, like, your group and then coming back together? Bro, oh, that is an dude, experience, bro. Like, at one point, I was with Regan, and we were riding our bicycles over the, like, over the Harbour Bridge. Mm. And then, like, halfway through, he's like, oh, I need a piss. Takes a piss off the fucking <laughs> Harbour Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Legit, and he's like, dude, you should yeah. do it as well, bro. Oh. <laughs> then we can both say we pissed off the whole thing. I didn't hard. need a piss, bro. But that's that's on my bucket list now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never even thought of it. It was so good, nah. but like, cause it was windy, he had to like adjust the angle for the wind. All <laughs> had to be like blowing on him. Oh man, he got it there. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, and we made it like Milson's point at three a.m. Head back, and then like. Cause we had a car at that point, like that's where we were gonna stay the night in the fucking car. Cause we just hotboxed the fucking car every mm. Friday, and then we fucking smoked some weed and like 
Dude, it changed the trip so much. Like, his face started melting. Like, his oh. eyes just, like, <laughs> like moved out of his head. I'm like, bro, your fucking eyeballs are, like, flowing all over your face. <laughs> no, I've, not, I've never had... I've never seen anything, like, full melt yet. Oh, but I've, like... Did, have you ever seen yourself in a mirror on acid? Dude, that's fucked. Wait, we call... Me and my friends called it, like, zombifying. Zombifying, <laughs> yeah. That's, like, the best way you could describe it. It's right? fucked. You just... You just like your face just changes, sh- like you just literally you're yourself and then you're somebody else and then you're another person and then you're somebody else and then you're another one and you come and then back you to see yourself. like five hundred people and then uh, <laughs> it's fucking crazy. I once fucking I was I was in an apartment yeah. that had like a a full body mirror like as like a closet door yeah and I was sitting in the corner of the room and I could see my whole body sitting on the ground in the mirror. But you're standing up. No, I was sitting. There. I was, like, oh, okay, I was sitting down okay. in the corner of the room, yeah. like, on the ground, and I could, and on the corner was just like the mirror, and I could see myself sitting on the ground, and I was just staring at myself for like two hours, bro. And I had this trip during that time that I thought that I was bro, behind the mirror. It turned like a whole movie. Yeah, in the bro, mirror, right? I literally thought that I was behind the mirror. <laughs> I literally tripped myself out to, at one point I'm like what if I'm behind the mirror looking at somebody else like I'm, I'm like everything they bro, do I'm just copying yeah, it but it was such a trip oh, I was there for like man. two hours before my friend came into the room like dude we've been looking for you and I was just like <laughs> dude, really? dude what has been going on like dude, oh. that's, that would be amazing though. you can see so much in there dude it was fucking insane just those moments where you like meditate on something yeah like once I was out in the bush and like the weirdest thing happened like I like, I was sitting in the leaves, and then all of a sudden, my peripheral vision, like, moved into the center of my vision. Whoa. So, it was, like, everywhere I look, I can see the corners, like, in the middle. That's trippy. <laughs> it was the most fucked effect ever, that man. That's so trippy. And, like, dude, it started scaring the fuck out of me, but, like, it lost, like, half an hour, but, fuck, man, it was so weird. That was so weird. Now, the, the weirdest optical illusion kind of thing I've had yeah. is, like, when I was walking from my veranda into like all my friends around into his apartment yeah and for some reason like I opened the, the screen door and the, the ground looked like it was like that like just pointing up like the kitchen was up there everything the like floor. I felt like it was like straight looking up I was like I full had to like crawl on the ground I crawled to the kitchen Dude. I opened the fridge my friends are just laughing at me recording me <laughs> I full crawled and I opened the fridge and I, I felt like I was gonna slip down at any time to the veranda bro it was hilarious Whoa. It was so scary at the time, but I was like fucking tripping, bro. That's amazing, yeah. though. <laughs> no, that's that's the only actual time I've actually like fully like hallucinated something, except for like seeing myself turn in the mirror and shit like that. But like actually seeing like the world around me like shift, that was like the only time, and it was just like so intense. It was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> bro, I've heard people talk about seeing the road, like when they're walking down the road, it just like bubbles and like. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I can see like you can see like I, I could see the, the earth breathe. Like, and, like, everything would breathe, but that was, like, normal. Like, that was, like, in, every time I'd do acid, everything was just breathing. Like, I look yeah. at the walls, everything's just, like, breathing. The plants, though. Plants, right. everything's... The fucking leaves. Green as fuck. Right. This green, I could never describe. Oh, it was yeah, so it turned vibrant. neon. But then, yeah. like, my favourite effect is when you're walking through, like, the forest and you see ferns and stuff. Their leaves are, like, shaped in this way where when you're tripping on psychedelics, they, like, flow, like, rivers. And then there's these leaves that have, like, colour in them. And the colours, like actually look like these like orbs like geometric shapes and shit yeah, like crazy. all these plants have these like crazy designs in this other dimension and we can't see it in our normal dimension bro have you have you seen um like stars through telescopes on like shrooms no like man i really want to buy a telescope that's like one of the next things i'm gonna buy bro it was so cool me and my, my mate we went to nimbin we took a trip to nimbin yes because we used to live like an hour and a half you see all the stars there yeah, bro. It's like this, it's like to get to Nimbin, you have to go through like an hour and a half of like just bush and like mountains and shit. So there's no city or anything there. And in Nimbin, it's just like the one little strip. There's no lights or anything at night either. That's good. And it's just bush everywhere and stuff, like forests and stuff. And bro, and there's this little. So we got there late. We got there at like seven at night. There was like nobody walking around or anything. We found one guy and he was selling shrooms. We were looking for fucking weed and acid. And he only had shrooms. Oh, you told me the story, yeah. man. And we fucking, we got, yeah, we got the shoes and shit, yeah. But yeah. Then, then we ended up heading back, um, fucking to this fucking spot. the water, bro? Yeah, bro. We ended up heading back to this spot where there was like a, there was like a campsite. And we, we discovered that spot and we're like, oh, fuck it, bro, we'll come back here next time. 
the comes to this person next to us. So we kept driving and shit. That was like the whole story that we were driving and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Fucking. Watch the last podcast with Kevin <laughs> if you want to know the story about the shrooms, man. But yeah, but that was we, a good story. <laughs> and then we, we that, that place we were so, we were, like, since we were tripping when we saw that, like, that place, we were scared to go in. Yeah. We were like, we'll mark it down and we'll go there next time. We were fucking, I forget what it is. The end of going back there? Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah. So we go back there, like, a couple weeks later. Yeah. And we, it was like a. It's like a little caravan park without the caravans, like what we call like a like a little ca- ca- camping like a camping area. It's like a camping yeah. area. Yeah. There wasn't many camping people camping there, but there was like a couple little wooden huts. Yeah. And there was just like mattresses everywhere, and people just sleeping all over the place and stuff like that. It was just like it was really dodgy. It was really weird. Wait, so there are other people hippies. there. Yeah, it's just well. hippies and stuff. Yeah. And but it's camp- Niven. Everyone's yeah, yeah, fucking exactly. chill as yeah. fuck. So we got there and. Um, we got there like late as well again fucking we couldn't get anything that time yeah. and we were like fuck we might as well stay here the night yeah. and we were to go back in the morning we were too tired to drive oh so you guys we're just, just so we're just staying we're staying we're just staying yeah. just smoking on the drive there so, and we're just smoking there we're trying to get on but we couldn't get anything it was like dry then we stayed there the fucking night yeah, you may had a telescope no no wait we, when we were staying there the night we met these yeah. guys there um, these like Indian fellas that they were like all coming they all came from the Gold Coast so it was like the bachelor party for one of their friends yeah. and they were mm-hmm. like all these rich Indian guys <laughs> and they were just like and they, they, they had the gold chains no no they were like the reason, the reason we knew they were rich bro, they, they had like all these mad like expensive boozers they had like all these drugs and shit and they had like these nice cars bro. they were like driving BMWs Mercedes and, and they had the fucking time and they're at a Nimbin we're like what the fuck like, what is that, he's like He's like, yeah, we wanted to give our friend ex- the fucking experience, like, getting shrooms on it. She's like, oh, so you got shrooms? Like, yeah, bro, we got fucking shitload of shrooms. Pulls out the shrooms, like, oh, bro, bro can, can we, mad. We're like, bro, can, can we, like, buy some off? He's like, yeah. no. Oh, what? And we're like, bro, bro what? And he's just like, have some. Ah! And like, oh, <laughs> shit! Fuck, <laughs> bro, he shouted us weed, <laughs> fucking shrooms and stuff for the night. That's mad. And, what the and it's like, like, I think in some cultures, they believe if you make money off drugs, like, you get bad luck. I don't know, bro. I yeah, mean, that's I your culture, it. bro. They took your culture. That happened You were to saying me, that like, last night on the yeah, phone. Yeah, once I made money from DMT and I had bad luck for months. Like, I crashed my car twice. Like, it was fucked shit. up. Well, yeah. yeah, no, these guys were fucking just very nice. They were drunk as fucking high as fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah on shrooms and fucking coke as well they were very generous they were fucking they're like we were, so we, they gave us the shrooms and stuff and we started like we took them and then we are just sitting there we are like bro we should just chill with these guys tonight like this seems pretty lit like this is having a mad time yeah, like yeah right, right fuck it and then this other this other guy um, that was like late from them like a friend came and yeah. he was like the nerdy one of the group and he, he's like oh hey guys sorry I'm late this and that 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 like oh all good bro come down here have some drinks and I was like oh I don't really want to drink Yeah. and he pulls out a Tusker and he's just like he was just sitting on the hill just fucking with his telescope just fucking looking at the moon and stuff oh. this bro this moon that would look like it was like 10 feet away it was humongous Did he show bro. some planets bro. and stuff no we were trying to find other planets and stuff it was like really f- we were just fucking so fucking high we couldn't get it yeah, yeah. High, fucking, yeah. yeah. But we, we got some stars and like some moons and stuff and bro, it was amazing we were just there for hours fucking me and my friend we were just there fucking playing with the telescope bro you can just look at the moon yeah but the, the moon was so crazy bro. Like, you see everything so on. detailed all the yeah. craters yeah bro bro I wanna throw a concert on the moon eh? yeah that's <laughs> that was sick with that imagine movie. doing like shrooms or acid on the moon and looking at the earth <laughs> <laughs> too fucking good dude I, think, I feel like shrooms on another planet would be like crazy cause it's, it's too fucking hot in here bro I need to bring in like a fan or something yeah. cause I'm gonna die damn you really hot yeah bro I'm sweating <laughs> shit a fan I'm usually a pretty hot person but I guess not I'm hotter <laughs> double mumpers who's the hottest person in this podcast comment below <laughs> like if it's me <laughs> <laughs> subscribe if it's Mophead and share if it's Aiden or just comment <laughs> <laughs> um, ah, my back is so I feel like a boomer cunt it's really that bad yeah. How many times did he get you in the back? Just once. He just hit me hard. That's like it's a weapon. I beat him up with my body. So. 
As far as I'm concerned, I'm in the clear. <laughs> so fucking overkill, it's the only shit I've Holy got. fuck, <laughs> bro! Jeez! Oh, uh, I'm gonna freezing now. Hey, that's <laughs> one of our fans. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Fan, bro. This is our biggest fan? Definitely our biggest fan. Wait, do you want to still talk about psychedelics or do we want to go into relationship shit? Yeah, or it's that. your podcast. What it's it? our podcast. It's the podcast. Okay, so I had a mad chat with Kevin today about just relationships because past couple of days I was just I was just thinking, oh, like with Jody, like she's just given so much to me. She's she's really sweet. She's a cool person. But I just don't feel that fucking love, you know, like I want to grow old with her and I want to have kids with her and all that shit. You reckon that'd be too loud, but That's too the point. You know, it's much of it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Why is fucking going red for me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden, I have a small, I have a small fan. You can use that. Where is it? I put it out here. It'll work. Okay. Yeah. So, anyways, and then I've been talking with a couple people. Just they're just like, oh, if you're doubting it, then that means you don't love her. If you're second guessing it, you don't love her. So I'm like, oh, I can't be selfish. I gotta just like end it. But then, but then I bring Kevin over today, and he's telling me in the car, like, oh, you know, what were you saying? It's kind of like you and Mimi, but then <coughs> it's like, it's because it wasn't enough give and take. No, it was like, obviously, I, I don't know your relationship as well as I know mine, Yeah. but it, it comes down to you as well, but like, if you think that there's more that you can give her... And more that you can grow from each other, mm. and you can grow to love her, like because you didn't get with her and you didn't love her straight away, like like we were talking before. Mm-hmm. So like, you shouldn't necessarily be. Fuck! I'm just cooking away. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what I said. No, but no, like you shouldn't. You shouldn't just. Like give up on her just because you you think you've fallen out of love. When we were saying mm. before that, you you could just be going through some things yourself. You could be going through yeah. a bad time during lockdown. Everyone has. You could be feeling depressed about like many many things. Yeah. And I don't like with me me and my girlfriend like I I'd fallen out of love with her at one point. And uh, the reason I found that that was it wasn't because of her, mm. but it was because of me. I wasn't giving the relationship a hundred percent. Yeah. So therefore, she wasn't giving a hundred percent. Yeah. So it takes two to build a relationship. If you feel like she is giving you a hundred percent and you're not giving a hundred percent, and then you're saying like, "Oh, but I don't love her," then it's up to you whether you, you want to give it another chance. See what happens if you give a hundred percent. Yeah. See if you grow to love that person. And because what, like you've said, you've, you've talked to me about her. She's an amazing girl. She's done nothing wrong. You can't speak badly about her. Yeah. So, you need to think to yourself, is that the woman you want for the rest of, well, not, obviously not the rest of your life, like right now, but like, is that somebody you want to be with right now? Somebody that's good to you, somebody that's helped you, somebody that supports you? Mm. Like, uh, yeah, good, like, you guys could, I don't know your problems, whatever it is, but with me, what it was for me, I felt like she was too, childish at times and too emotional she mm. would just make emotional decisions and wouldn't like think about things too like thoroughly mm. and I would just like blame those reasons for why I didn't love her yeah, but like, it was also like I could be helping her do those, making those decisions don't you reckon like if you're in a relationship like, mm. sure you could be thinking all this stuff in your head to like direct yourself at where you want to be going as yourself Yeah. but like with your partner like if you're constantly telling them these things, isn't that fucking up the dynamic with the relationship? Like, don't you want to think it through, like, all the way before you say something and, like, make a change? Oh, Otherwise, you're just, like, you mean, fucking you it up. Why I've been thinking it? for months, like, fuck, do I really love her? Da, da, da. 
Yeah, but like, you, there's a difference between thinking that and then like showing it to them. And like, if you're showing that to them, then that's gonna make them react. And then them, their reaction to that is gonna like change the way you feel about them. Yeah, exactly. And so it creates like a chain reaction. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm yeah. saying. You start hating each that's other. That's what I'm saying. He should yeah. give it all he's got and yeah. see what, what that, how that works exactly. out. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Kevin also, he fucking gave me a bam moment in the car. Is like, he was saying, you were saying you had, you like pretty much broke up with your girl four times during lockdown. And that's just from insecurity from lockdown. And not going out and doing yeah, things like it was yeah, doing yeah. exciting like, things that's what like it came down to really like i was being selfish yeah and th- i wasn't thinking about her i was just thinking about me and how lockdown was affecting me and all this stuff and i wasn't being able to go out and like release all this anger that i have and all this stress and depressions that i have or just to be able to like go out and shop yeah Maybe just get a haircut or whatever yeah. like yeah just things that made me happy during the week and like would help me get through day to day work and go through the week and through the year I wasn't yeah. able to do anymore and I didn't realise that and I was turning into like a fucking it's a grouch and just fucking turning any argument I could on onto Mimi yeah and yeah like I broke up with her a couple of times and stuff and we should like she, that's why I can't say anything bad about Mimi like she she's always been there she always believes that we like we can make through anything I believe we can get through anything as well. Like the times that I've broken up with it were like out of anger and rage and emotional thinking. Yeah. And so yeah. You, that's why I say you don't you don't have to think emotionally. Yeah, you can feel these emotions, go through the emotions, but then later on make the decision based on logic and reason. Yeah, exactly. Yes. You don't want to like impulse make. You don't want to say something on an impulse like that. Exactly. I've, I I'm a very impulsive person and very like I've. It's so hard not to. It's so hard. But Especially I'm when, like, so, I'm when you so text hard. and, like, you talk every day. Like, you don't have that time to wait and think. Yeah. Like, you just instantly bam. Yeah. And it's like, fuck, I've just fucked, like, so much up. Or even not just that. <laughs> with me, like, a big problem with me is that, like, without... When, when, when Mimi brings up a problem and she says... if ever, Not even brings it up, but, like, if, she, if I can just notice on her that she's upset, that she hasn't said anything, mm. it's like, what's wrong? And she yeah. just doesn't say anything. Yeah, that happened nothing, to this guy, man. Nothing. Yeah. What do you mean nothing? I can tell when you're upset. Like, what's the point of going through this whole you can nothing? Sense, this yeah, yeah, yeah. You can sense when your partner's not right. Yeah. And they want to be like, nothing's wrong. This now, you have to figure out yourself. Why not? It's like, fuck, man. And that that pisses me off. So that's, that's just girls I, for you. Bro. Yeah, that's just girls in general. But like, that's <laughs> the thing I gotta learn. Like, because I, I used to, I used to be a sucker. Like, bro, I used to suck up to my ex girlfriends and stuff. And like, I was a kiss ass. Gave them anything they wanted, and it didn't work out for me like it broke my heart very badly so then with this when I started dating Mimi I set these ground rules straight up like oh I'm not gonna be a kiss ass I'm not gonna be this I'm not gonna be that I'm not gonna be this thinking that that was the right thing to do but it wasn't no, I, didn't gonna, gi- I didn't give the chance to, to adapt to exactly, the situation exactly I didn't yeah. give Mimi the chance I didn't I wasn't like that I, sh- that I gave all the other girlfriends and stuff like that so like that's all we struggled at the start so we built the, found the relationship like foundation based on something yeah. bad. So okay, now right. we're working through things after years and trying to fix things and like, yeah, now we're in a pretty good place, I'd say. Yeah. I've got to adapt to this heat right now and stand <laughs> in front of the fucking <laughs> fan. Stop, stop, stop me, no, no, I'm going to stand in front of the fan. I'm just going to cool down. Okay. I'm fucking overheating, bro. <laughs> I forgot what you said about... Oh, it's from the cone, bro. That's what it's from, from the tobacco. No, because you remember the car was telling you like, oh, you know... Jodie's kind of that simp personality, like she's, like she does everything I want her to and all that. And what's wrong with that? At the end of the day, what is wrong with that? Yeah, yeah. For me, Mimi was like that as well. Mm. And I didn't like it because like I said to her, I don't like you doing everything for me. I like to do things for you as well. So it's like you say, we have to give and give. So I should say that to Jodie, just be like, you've given me so much and now it's my turn. Yeah, it would be like that up to her, like, yeah. instead of, I don't know if she, but like, for, with me and my girlfriend, like, if it was like, if it, like, for example, if she would always be the one to give me back rubs and stuff like that, yeah. when I'd come back and be like, alright, oh, let, let me, like, start showing affection towards you more more now and stuff, because you've, you've done it to me a lot, but, yeah. but then you can't just be doing that, because then you're just playing switch back and forth, you're, you've got to even it out, you got to... Mm-hmm. She's giving you back rubs later on when you notice she's chill. You give her some back rubs. Yeah. Without her even having to ask for it. You notice she's having a bad day. You sit with her. Have a, make her feel good about have herself. Have a cuddle. Yeah, have shit. a cuddle. 
That's yeah. the thing. Like, that's the thing you gotta realize. You're in a relationship. It's not about you. It's about us. Mm-hmm. If she's not right, we're not right. If you're not right, we're not right. Yeah. So you've gotta always be attentive with your partner. This is for boys and girls. You've gotta be attentive to your partner, how they are. Always be willing to make them smile. Like I, I honestly make a conscious choice to keep a smile on my girlfriend's face at all times. Or like even just that, that just like even when she's just normal. Yeah, I, I know, to, I know her normal, her normal when she's just content. Yeah. I have yeah. to keep her that or smiling always. Yeah. You have to. You yeah. have to. Yeah. So the same should be said for the girl. Up. Same should be said for the girl. What do you want? Yeah. If you're both doing that, the relationship will blossom. The relationship will go to where it needs to go. Yeah, and I was telling you in the car that like, Jody would always just sit on the bed, just watch me work, watch me edit podcasts, watch me learn Polaris songs on guitar, all this shit. And it sort of make me feel guilty and have this anxiety. See, yeah, see, yeah. And then, what do you mean? How does she make you feel guilty? Because it's because like, I feel bad that she's like spending her time just, just to watching watch me do things. And she's not doing anything by herself. She just likes being around. Exactly. You. That's, a yeah. thing, that's the thing I was saying. Like my like girlfriend. You can't just guess how they feel. Yeah, like yeah. that's the thing with my girlfriend. She, she likes. She doesn't like playing, but mm. she likes watching me play Fortnite. Even yeah. though I don't like playing Fortnite. So I would take some time to play Fortnite, even though I don't like it, just because she likes watching me watch it, play it. So it's like sometimes you gotta do shit like that. If she yeah. if she enjoys just sitting there watching you do your craft, let her sit there and admire. No. Okay. Yeah. Use that as motivation. Yeah, and also you're saying for some girls, it's like it takes till you're till they're 22 or 23 to they're like, oh shit, I'm an adult. Shit, now I gotta develop. Myself. Yeah, so I then thought girls so mature quicker. Like, girls mature yeah, quicker, yeah, but, but girls at that age, they're, they're such, guys are like fucking 25, 26, and oh. <laughs> 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 Nah, but it, it, everyone's different. Everyone's different. Girls do <coughs> mature more quickly, but for the, that's what I'm saying, for the girls that are slower and maturing. Because normally girls are usually, not usually, but fuck. I've met a lot of mature girls at like 18, 19. They're like, got their shit together. They're like getting married. They're fucking about to have a kid. Yeah, They've got a yeah. house. They've got shit sorted. Yeah. Mm. I don't know a guy at that age, like me personally, that's all that, like, fucking sorted. It's rare. Very rare. They have to have a rich dad. Yeah, or some shit. Or fucking <laughs> just be like, have no dad and just fucking focus on, like, yeah, yeah but whatever. But so there's some girls that are a bit slower than others, and that's just because they like being, like, cute and childish, and they like the little Disney movies, and like this and that. They're like, that's my girlfriend speaking, but like, yeah. I've met a couple girls like that as well. They just like being cute and childish they like the little plush toys they like this stuff they like the that's the best type of girl man yeah that's the, that is the best type of girl because they're, 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 they're not bitchy they're not bitchy yeah. they're innocent and silly it's such yeah, a plus and that's, that's, and that's, what, you the, that's what you want at the yeah. end of the day you want that over a stuck up bitch yeah hard to no find no offense <laughs> hard to yeah. find there's a lot of so stuck true. up bitches bro I know I found that I found my best women at church yeah my, 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 same my best, yeah. my best girlfriends yeah. that I've had, yeah. I've found them. At, I've found them at church. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Got any pointers, Aiden? I got nothing, bro. I wanna lay yes. down. Cause <laughs> <laughs> you got smashed. Eh? I'm smashed. From fucking work, bro. Yeah. I was so fucked. I took yesterday off because I was fucking See, bro, you can feel crappy. the sit here. Yeah. No, bro. I'm gonna lay down, bro. <laughs> okay. Oh man. But yeah, bro. So yeah, like right. I'm saying to you, mm-hmm. you just gotta have a talk with her. See how she feels. But try not to make it sound like like it's bad. Like you, you, you're trying to come from a place of good. Like you want to get back. To, like you want to see how things work out. You want to see if you love this girl. If it's not just lockdown that's suppressing your emotions and yeah. you're feeling depressed and feeling bad about yourself. Because. Yeah, because if you're just thinking like that, then that's just, like, if you're just thinking, oh, it's me, like, I'm not feeling good, I'm not feeling that, I'm not feeling this anymore from her. Yeah. And that's on you. It's not thing she's doing. And if she's such a great girl, then there's no reason why you wouldn't love her. But then again, you yeah. can't just force, and then maybe then also there's not that clip. So you've got to, you've, you've got that, you've got that figure out yourself. I can't tell you anything apart from what I've said, I guess. Yeah, I feel like a lot of it does have to do with 
But I feel like you guys are very similar. Like, you guys click, like, from what I've seen. Cheers, bro. Like, you guys are fucking mad. Yeah. It might just be what you said about the lockdown. It's like, I haven't even found a good jujitsu club yet. Once I start going, and then once there's gigs, and then once there's... Once we can go exactly, out bro. to well, the once, pub, have bro, a drink. Once we're, once we're stressing about bands and all this stuff, playing shows, fucking yeah. going out, you're gonna yeah. need that girl to be there and fucking when you're tired and you're gonna fucking she's, she's gonna want to be there with you and all those through all those things and stuff. Yeah. And she's into that shit. Yeah. So fuck her. Yeah. yeah. You're right. She literally listens like listens to songs that I show her like exactly in her spare time. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah Fuck man Thank you so much bro Absolutely. Thank you Dr. Phil Anytime sir Anytime Yeah I don't know if I already said Yeah I think I did But like the Other people I've talked to about it They're like No just let it go If you don't love it It's more complicated than that It is more complicated than that Because you didn't You didn't You didn't love her When you got with her so why I, would you I had that honeymoon phase yeah, you then it became hun- stale exactly so yeah. like you gotta you gotta just weigh the options but like. mm. yeah and the thing is I and like I said and like mm. I said also it's not just about is she a good girl for you it's about are you a good guy for her mm. can you give her what she wants can you give her what she needs you know the big problem with me giving her things mm. is she doesn't fucking eat anything it's not, it's, not about, it's not about like physical giving things it's about like and lovingly loving things like giving her time giving her attention yeah. listening <coughs> yeah fucking getting angry about shit she gets angry about mm. watching her shows fucking yeah cause she's gonna watch your shows Yeah, she still, I still don't know jack shit about her. Honestly, it's like it's that's like, all you gotta get to know her. It's hard, man. She's very passive because her upbringing is like getting neglected by her dad and everyone, and she has like six siblings. So it's like she sort of just, she sort of just like you know, d- shut up and sit down and shut up. Well, you don't really need to. Know, you don't need to know her past to know who she is. If she mm. doesn't want to talk about her past, you get to know who she is now. Mm. You pick Fuck up all the. Earth. You have to study her, study what she, how she is. Yeah. Like, you know the things she likes now. You know what makes her happy. Mm. You know all that stuff, and just build on that stuff. Yeah. There's no need to get upset because she won't tell you. Fucking. What high school she went to when she was younger, or her friends' names, or any of that. Yeah. You didn't know her back then. She could be a new, completely different person now. Yeah, I gotta do some digging. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hey. Such a relief. You gotta just like also show interest that you want to know her. This is like the highlight day of my year, man. Woke up, beat some junkie up, <laughs> brought Kevin over, patched up my relationship. Fuck. Doing a podcast. About to record some screaming. Some vocals. Woo! I'm set. Life's too good, man. Ah. So, anything else happened in the past couple months that were cool for you? Yeah, I've just been setting up, like, a... A gym in my house. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, it's it's like an, I'm just gonna get mats down, and it's like pretty much done. Yeah, I've got like all the weights, all the equipment, all the. I've got like a full gym thing. It's got like bench, like the like a chest press out, like freaking lat pull downs. We've got the legs. Freaking, it's even got like a. Do you have the squat thingy, a bar? Yeah, I got a freaking ma- massive bar and shit. I got, yeah. I got, I got, the, I got the I got the all like all, all Olympic weights and Olympic bars and shit. Fucking okay, no. Just fucking got proper shit. Mate. Got a bag, got a few fucking sets of boxing gloves and fucking mitts and shit. Awesome. Yeah, I soon to get some mats down. I'm gonna do some sparring and shit. Yeah, Maybe. Tim is my punching bag, so. Yeah. 
Buy some fucking. Buy some gloves. Some pads and shit. And we'll spar and shit. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to talk shit about Tim in public, but I kind of do. Like, after all that happened, Regan called Tim's dad, told him everything that happened. And Tim's dad's just like, oh, like, he just doesn't. He's meant to be home. He has a huge drug problem. And then... Wait, Aiden! But they they have a grudge against Aiden because they think Aiden's, like, the drug influence on him. But ultimately, it's Tim's fault for being a junkie. <laughs> like, he's the one that's taking the drugs. Because Aiden has a full-time job. He's stable. He's functional. <laughs> but it was weird. His parents just kept talking shit about him. <laughs> For like 20 minutes. <laughs> That's fucked. I feel so bad for the parents. Like, imagine your son is just a junkie that uses everyone and lies to everyone. Yeah. yeah. He got what he deserved. Yeah. It's hard to say what people deserve these days, man. <laughs> you can't be judge, jury, and executioner. Been constant since I've known him. Scab drugs, scab food, scab everything, without even asking often. You just People got, like that. You just gotta disassociate yourself. Yeah, I'm never seeing him again. Think about it. For twenty bucks, you just lost your, you just, you just lost a shit ton of your life. Beautiful. You paid twenty bucks to get rid of somebody. Think about it like that. He owes you twenty bucks. You basically paid twenty bucks to get rid of a cunt. He owes life. um. He owes Reagan four hundred forty bucks too. <laughs> How do you lend somebody and like that that much money? Yeah, exactly. He owes Aiden probably like ten or twenty bucks, and he owes Aiden's mum for fucking up the backyard. So. <laughs> Alright, I'm done bitching about Tim. Just have to let it out, man. I don't even know the guy, so I can't really say anything. It's like cool and friendly until you realize all your things are gone. <laughs> That's fucked. And then he just acts all cute about it. Oh, no, no. So, what about you, bro? Tell me about this new job you got. It's sweet, it's um, where is it, Erskine Park, like 20 minute drive, just like 5 a.m. start, just pushing trolleys with a bunch of huge Kiwis and sick cunt white guys with tattoos, we just push trolleys in and out of trucks and just flirt with the girls there. <laughs> There's this 17 year old porg, man. Biggest ass. But, um, she's kind of eshe She's kind of like a hard kind sort of person. Not authentic. <laughs> what do you work against, sorry? On um, the Bunnings Pot Plant Warehouse. Where's that? Eskin Park. Eskin Park. So, like, it's just where all the warehouses are. Oh, okay, just west okay. of here. Um, what was I gonna say? Forgot. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. What tattoos are you getting? Fuck it, I need to get, like, I need to get that finished. You wanna fill out the arm, eh? Yeah, I'm gonna fill out the arm. I'm gonna get, um, the initials of my family here. Mm -hmm. Everyone's initials. And then, like a big version? Yeah, just like, just fucking, like, like, all the way yeah. down? Yeah, just, yeah. 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 It's gonna be like, M C B E S, yeah. and then it's fucking, and then all in here it's gonna be like patterns and shit, covering it up, like geometric patterns and shit. Beautiful. Yeah. I got like a few skin gaps going through it. We're gonna have some good skin gaps. And it's gonna be fucking. Yeah. Like the trail. Yeah. And I'm gonna awesome. have fucking. I'm gonna get like a. Geometric L here. Oh, sweet. Yeah. yeah, I love big pieces on the chest and yeah. the back. 
I really want like a. I want so much shit, bro. But it's like <laughs> I need the money. Yeah. Oh man, like it's gonna cost me like a grand to finish this one off minimum. I'm actually considering just waiting till I fly to Thailand, bro. and then just getting it cheap. Yeah. Who did yours? Dan Phillips in Artem skin, Artaman, next to Chatsu. He's a, like the shading on these skulls is incredible, man. So crazy. Artaman. Hey. What is it, Artaman? What? Art on skin. That's where I got mine. Eh? Huh? Art on skin center, yeah. Bullshit. Like Lady Danny. Bullshit! Yeah, that's like on mine. Wow, really? Yeah. yeah, that's so good, eh? <laughs> that's fucking funny. I was literally thinking, I was like, that's not familiar. That's how I got mine. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it up, so cool. But that's funny, yes. Yeah. Small world. <laughs> Should we wrap it? Yeah. yeah, this has been your boy, Young Moped and Kevin.